at the vote not fight election not be war campaign training with the team role of stakeholders consensus commitment and collective action in securing the 2020 governorship elections in Edo State centered around advocacy community organizing and voter education for the vote not fight strategy committee members and local government area coordinators organizers of the workshop and the commissioner of police urge youths as the energetic and vibrant force of the society to see election as an avenue to elect candidates of their choice and not war. Discrete courses of youth involvement in electoral violence includes illiteracy, unemployment, underdevelopment, poverty, drug abuse, mentioned on the field. Other courses also include poor and non existence of civic and voters education and the sponsorship of violence by political class among others, Nigerians youth have been both victims and perpetrator of electoral violence. Presidential elections, you know, to mobilize young people to shun violence, to refuse to be recruited as perpetrators of electoral violence, you know, but to uh, also go out and vote for the candidates of their choice. In terms of personnel, logistics, uh, other ad hoc parameters have been Consider and taking care of to make sure that everything works well. So once again, this is to assure the National Democratic Institute that the police will participate fully in this program and any other program that will be arranged before the time of the election. The Edo State Resident Electoral Commissioner, Independent National Electoral Commission, ENEC, Johnson Alalibo, stated that both the federal government and the commission is putting everything in place to ensure a peaceful election, while participants shared their views about youth on election violence. We started with the in-house training of our personnel. We finished that and continued with the security agencies. We are done with that. Now, uh, there is going to be, we are training our own uh, state office, uh, uh, the state office personnel. Uh, right, a lot of sense. Now we are deploying a team, local government supervisors, to go around the entire world to get youth agenda, what the uh, adult youth need. So we will put those policies together and present it to all the various candidates so that uh, they can be held accountable and young people will no longer be used for tobri so because our lives matter to us. What I want to talk about right now is the new media, the place of the new media in electoral violence. If you have been on the internet on recent issues, recent happening, do you know that the war is already happening on the internet? Poverty makes you do things that you, you don't plan for. All you just want is you want to put food in your stomach. Most of these youth that goes around doing whatsoever they are doing, most of them they have, in fact, poverty has great. They are from the poorest of the poorest of the poorest of the poorest. The International Youth Day is celebrated annually around the world. The theme for this year's celebration is Youth Engagement for Global Action. Inye Konye Mokenye, AIT News, Benin.